Fig, 2013, we came into the Ticast, same time. Now you're back, 2023, mm. entering your 10th season. <laughs> how does it feel, man? Is it is it how you remember it here? It's great, man. I, I will say it's, it's different, but it's that same energy. Like when I came in, you know, as a rookie, it's just the excitement, the, the energy, the, the enthusiasm, everybody around, the guys who came in, who signed in today, and the coach is ecstatic, man. And we just, I just can't wait to get going, man. It feels, it feels, it feels wonderful, man, to be honest. Man, we said 10 years, this is gonna be your 10th season. And we we're kind of joking earlier, like if you gotta double check how long you've been playing, like that's a long time. Yeah, man, it's, it's, it's been a while, man. I'm blessed to continue to do what I'm doing at a, at a high level. And uh, you know, I'm thankful every day I work hard at it. So uh, I'm just gonna continue doing what I do. And I still feel young at heart. So, you know, I got plenty more to give. You're coming to Hamilton. You were spent the last four years in BC, a place where they throw the ball a lot, like a lot, a lot. Now, I know anything you get to do is cool, but if you had the opportunity to just bear down on somebody and just turn around and tell Butler like, look, follow me, we about to run and I'm going to get my guy out of the way. Would you rather pass block or would you rather run block? I would say I could speak for any offensive lineman regardless of what team. And I would say that obviously we like to get physical, you know, go forward instead of, it's just like being a hammer instead of being a nail, right? You want to you wanna be the one creating the contact and, and, and you, know, you know, moving the line of scrimmage. But at the same time, do whatever it takes for the team to win. Is, is what I'm prepared to do. So at the end of the day, if we got to throw the ball, then I'm all for it. Yeah, and they threw the ball a lot in BC over here. Coach Tommy throws the ball a lot as well. Uh, do you think being familiar with Coach Tommy or just in general, the idea of having maybe some similar concepts, do you think that played into your decision to come here or were there other factors that helped you decide on coming to Hamilton? Yeah, there were plenty of other factors, but yeah, obviously that's a factor. He's a great offensive coordinator, he's proven. He's been here for a long time, you know, so I'm grateful for that. But at the same time, yeah, it's a it's a different game here. It's a, uh, you know, we, we got to get the first down within two downs, basically. So, and you know, it's, some teams are not built to get that running the ball in the first play to put you in a good position on the second down, which would put you in a maybe a third and short position where you we can actually go for it. So it's understandable. And uh, you know, I've been here long enough to understand that you can't always get your way. I wish we could run all the time, but it's not <laughs> what it is. But you know, passing is, is beautiful too when we get the ball to the dynamic guys that we have here. So uh, some of the dynamic guys, James Butler, somebody you're familiar with, uh, does it help having him coming with you? Do you? Are you excited about having him in the backfield? Definitely, definitely. I'm excited for him, man. He's a hard worker. He was always with us after practice, every single offensive line meeting and uh, he was learning the protections and stuff like that. So you're not just getting a guy who can run the ball and just catch it. The guy can block, he's super smart, and uh, he really gives a damn about this whole situation. And he's a hard worker, man. I can't say enough about him. And I'm glad we got him, to be honest. Yeah, the offense is shaping up. You got some weapons outside, weapons in the backfield, and you got a guy at quarterback who's, who's done it at a high level for a long time. What's the ceiling like for this offense? Uh, it's like they say, man, the sky's the limit. Uh, we will be as good as uh, we want to be. Uh, we just got to get on the same page. And uh, I heard some great things about, you know, Bo uh, in the locker room when he was uh, where he was at in Calgary. And um, it's a lot of leadership coming from different areas, coming to the same one. A lot of guys competed against each other. And now we're all here together. So we just got to bring what we have and, uh, you know, instill that in the, in the young guys and everybody here. I'm, I'm sure they have, they have a great culture here, by the way, already. Like I told you, you were here for it, so you, you, you I feel here. it now still. So yeah, I'm excited and uh, like I said, we take a little bit from here and there and we, we all come on the same page and the sky's the limit, I think. Rookie old linemen used to have to make coffee in the morning for the rest of the team or for the rest of the people and put it in the training room. Um, there's a lifetime supply of coffee in this building. It is right. Tim Hortons Field. Right. How you drink your coffee? I, I like my, my coffee uh, plain. Just black. black. Yep. Just black. Yeah, because you know, if you drink a lot of it, you don't need to be having sugar and uh, you know all this stuff in it. So I try to keep it simple. Simple guys, you just like to run block and drink black coffee. I mean, yeah, I'm simple, man. This is all it takes. Love it. <laughs> just a little bit of fuel and uh, not too much sugar, you know, to bring it back down. So. So anything you want to tell the people in Hamilton? Um, I'm glad to be back, man. I love the fans. I love everything about it. The atmosphere. You guys bring so much to the to to us players. I know we don't say it all the time, but you know, you guys mean a lot to us and um, 
I'm glad to be back and I can't wait to you know see you all on the field and uh, you know bring another ring here. There we go. Appreciate it, Faith. My brother. <laughs>